the King Ixion of Thessaly was a dreadful character who once fell in love with the beautiful Dia, daughter of Ionius. Ixion promised Ionius that he would give him his famous horses in exchange for the beautiful girl's hand. However, after marrying Dia, Ixion did not respect his part of the agreement, which enraged his father-in-law. He decided to do justice with his own hands and stole Ixion's horses. The king was furious, so he concocted a plan to avenge his father-in-law. Ionius was invited to a meeting with Ixion in his palace with the pretext of making amends. Ixion cordially welcomed his father-in-law, but the king was conspiring against his wife's father. The king invited Ionius to visit a brand new room in his palace. There was a pit in it, and when the visitor tried to see what was inside, he ended up being pushed in by his son-in-law. Ionius fell into the pit, full of burning coal. The guest started to be consumed by flames and cried in pain, much to Ixion's delight. And before being eaten by the flames, Ionius still noticed his daughter's body right by his side, already carbonized. But Ixion's sins would not be forgiven. The king was deposed and began to wander as a vagabond, being hit by stones and spit wherever he was. After years of suffering, Ixion appeared to be remorseful, so he begged the gods for forgiveness. Zeus felt pity for the man, who one day had already been a great king, and invited him to visit Mount Olympus. There he participated in the heavenly banquet and engaged with the Olympic deities. But his lack of character showed up again. Ixion fell in love with the goddess Hera, Zeus's wife, his host. He even declared his intent to carnally join her. Hera rejected him and told everything to her husband. Zeus did not believe that his guest would be capable of such a thing, and in order to test Ixion, Zeus shaped a cloud to perfectly resemble the goddess Hera. The goddess-shaped cloud flirted with Ixion, who did not hesitate and united himself with the false goddess. From this sin against hospitality, bizarre creatures were born, a mishmash between a man and a horse, known as centaurs. Zeus then expelled Ixion from Olympus. He wasn't even more ruthless because he felt some empathy for Ixion, since the great god knew how difficult it is to hold certain lustful desires. But he would later regret his piety. Ixion, after having returned to the world of men, started to brag that he had mingled with the Queen of Skies, and this attitude enraged Zeus. The Supreme God pierced Ixion with one of his bolts, and his spirit was thrown into the depths of Tartarus. He was imprisoned in a wheel of flames, shackled to it by snakes. Ixion would forever spend his days burning in flames while the wheel revolved.